Now, here I am, looking out over the ocean, at peace. You wouldn't think that just three days before, I started one of the worst, most stressful journeys of my entire life. This is Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. I'd just got off my flight from Manchester, and I had around four hours to kill before my next flight to Canada. I decided to just, you know, not look at my watch and just crack on with things to pass the time. But I was quite certain that the hours were just sailing by. I really wanted to do the usual thing of let's film everything in the airport, do some really cool edits and cuts, get my passport out, show that. That's cool. Oh, where is that? Where is my passport? Woo! Maybe do the time lapse or two. I don't know. But then I got to Paris. I'd been awake by that point for about 11 hours, and they started calling people's names out. So I got to my name. I went up. This was about. 20 minutes before we were supposed to board. I had everything set out. I needed certain things for COVID. Proof of vaccination, certificate saying that I didn't have it and I did a PCR swab and that was negative. However, what I wasn't told was that I needed some sort of immigration document for Canada. This guy at the airport says, we can't let you on the plane. You've got to fill this form online and pay $7. So I went online, filled everything in. It took an absolute age and then realised my card was out of date. It said declined. I was like, no. I wanted to go back and then had to fill the, fill the entire form in again and use the right card. So it said it got approved, I had a receipt, went up to the gate again and the guy is literally not letting me on the plane. And I don't know why. By this point it's 10 minutes before we have to go. Everyone else is going past me getting on the plane and I'm stuck in Paris here thinking, I'm not gonna get on. And then they had to call immigration and yeah, it got sorted, they let me on. So, got on the plane, nine and whatever hours later, couldn't sleep at all, got to Canada, everything was fine. Someone's ironed on my shirt, it's ace. Anyway, literally got off the plane, got back on. Didn't really need immigration forms, did I, for that Canada. Got to Tahiti, came off, and there's like three guys playing Polynesian music, it was ace. I'm properly buzzing at this point, but then we have to go through the COVID checkpoints and everything, which is very fun. And then this police officer comes up to me and says, have you got all the documents? Yeah. Yeah, all sorted, everything that I needed. Um, that we sworn statements and stuff like that. And then he said, okay, have you got your immigration letters? Because you you're not in the EU anymore because of Brexit. And I looked this gentleman in the eye and I just said, no, I wasn't told that. So I then had to go into a different room and sign all these immigration documents, essentially saying, please let me in because I need to get in. a quick immigration form and good anal probe later and I'm free to go. Oh god, and then I just wanted to go to bed. So from Paris I didn't film a single thing. So anyway, why am I here? Is what you're all asking, all three of you. So just over a week ago I got a message saying, I know this is last minute, but do you want to do a cruise in Tahiti and sing two shows? And I was like, uh, okay. So here I am sailing around French Polynesia, doing the best gig I've ever done in my life. I found this on the web. Anyone else does Apple Watch do that? At the worst times it's just like, hey, I found this pizza place, would you like me to call it? No.
There's that. having a little mooch around Bora Bora, as you do, we went on a bus tour and I thought, I'm just going to take one lens, which was the 28-75 Tamron, so I can't really vlog with that, so I thought, why not use my phone? And honestly, you won't be able to tell the difference. It is seamless. So I've come on this bus tour. Seamless. We'll never know. I've come on the bus tour um, just to see the island. I'll be honest, it's the cheapest thing because it's quite expensive um, for us mere mortals. And we're just going around the island of Bora Bora. I'm going to change it to see all the different sights and everything because we leave to a different island tonight. So we need to get all all the travel feels in to get back on the. Uh, bus now. Le Truc, which I believe stands for Beautiful Views. You might have already noticed, but it absolutely blows a gale at that time of year over in Bora Bora. We went to stop at this little shack where they made tie-dye blankets, um, you know, the bees. And the guy demonstrated how they make them and how they use the sun to bleach part of the towels. Yeah, it was fun. I liked it. So here we are again, me looking out over the ocean and 100% not just posing for an Instagram post, <laughs> you know, because that would be weird. Anyway, we carried on the journey on the bus, or Le Truc, which I believe stood for with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we saw these crabs, these were ace. These, um, were sand crabs. They burrowed the little holes which you can see around there. And then when the hibiscus flowers, which you can see, the red things, dropped on the floor, they'd come out, they'd grab them, and then scuttle away really quickly. But it was just so funny because they'd start off really slow until they'd got a good handhold and then just leg it. In the afternoon, we went to a private island. Yes, a private island. That's what sort of gig this was. And I spent most of the time looking at the natural wildlife. Seeing some bread rolls in the natural habitat. It's nice. Well, this place is hideous. Get me Scarborough. So, we're on a private beach. I'm on my iPhone because I didn't really want to bring my uh, camera down. I'm having to shield the phone from the wind because it is really windy but it's so nice and it's so obviously going to sunburn every bit of me but don't care don't care not one bit so I got back from here and I just needed to practice because I had a show on the night after this and needed to make sure I could play so I practiced on stage with a grand piano hmm <laughs> Yeah, living the dream. So this is going to be part of a four vlog series of Tahiti and what I got up to while I was over there. This is the end of part one. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. Hit that little bell button down there and all the usual 
YouTube things. And I'll see you again in the second vlog. Peace out. Stay sweet.